Non-alcoholic beer is almost unrecognizable from a few years ago. What's made it such a hit? It was once a watery, pretty tasteless beverage that you drank not because you wanted to, but because there wasn't much choice. Well, that all started to change about five years ago. Heineken introduced a product called 0, 0.0, and that sort of changed the game. They made it really groovy. They started sponsoring events like Formula One, and all of a sudden the category became a lot more flavorful and a lot more interesting. Brewers are getting better at, at making non-alcoholic beers, so that uh, it used to be a non-alcoholic beer was really a pretty poor option. Um, and you know, you sort of, maybe you did it to feel like you were hanging out and looked like you have a beer in your hand, but the actual enjoyment uh, factor was pretty low. Today, it's experiencing tremendous growth. The global non-alcoholic beer market was estimated to be worth around $16.6 .6 billion in 2021 and it's forecast to reach over 23 billion in 2025. Smaller companies, including craft breweries, are also vying for a piece of the market. We like to think Athletic really got the ball rolling in this space. Not all call it craft beer has been the fastest growing category in beer for four plus years now, with Athletic being a 53% share player of that category, driving over 60% of growth this year. And there's over 40 uh, other breweries in this category now. It's not a, just a couple brands doing this anymore. Athletic Brewing Company recently opened what is believed to be the largest dedicated non-alcoholic brewery in the world. We have a brew that you can celebrate with anytime, anywhere, whether or not you want alcohol, and it still tastes just as good, if not better than your usual beer just makes people choose it more often than not. And so they get to enjoy their beer and be at their best. 80% of our, our drinkers do drink alcohol at other occasions. So the trend of like, they call it zebra striping, where people drink alcohol, non-alcohol, alcohol, non-alcohol non throughout a night to pace out their session, moderate their ABV intake, um, has become increasingly common. And in some New York City bars, we've been the top selling beer period on their whole menu for over a year running. Athletic Brewing Company really is leading the game. I asked them about it and they said there's a place called Top Hops in downtown Manhattan where they have consistently been the best selling beer. It's an exciting sign. And it's also a sign of just how much attitudes have changed. While there used to be stigmas attached to not drinking, that has really changed dramatically in the last four or five years. Gen Z and the younger generation is choosing not to drink for health reasons. They won't be shamed about it, and they're unapologetic about it. Not drinking sometimes can feel like you're doing something unusual just because in society, most people drink. So having these non-alcoholic options lets me do what I used to do, but without having to drink along the way. This current boom in non-alcoholic beer is really part of uh, the sort of general lifestyle awareness of better balance, better balance in everything, better balance with work, better balance in life, and also the realization that you don't always have to have alcohol to have fun. Non-alcoholic beer is still finding its footing in the U.S. We've come a long way. Uh, it was 0.3% of the beer category when we started. It's 1.5% of all grocery sales now in the beer category. We're getting there. We just need better distribution, better marketing awareness to keep building those numbers. There's no question that non-alcoholic beer market is going to continue to grow. In parts of Europe, it's 5 to 10% of the market. I don't see any reason why it can't be the same here in the United States.